Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Home Button, your favorite video game variety TV show, and I just, today's a beautiful day, Colby. It's a really shitty day, actually. Today. Well, I mean, today's a really shitty day, weather-wise, but today's a beautiful day because today, the fruit of labor is being produced before us on TV. And it is, man, this is a weird way to introduce Kentucky Route Zero. Uh -huh. uh, I have no idea where you're going. We're gonna be honestly. playing. We're gonna be playing the video game Kentucky Route Zero today on Switch on a TV. Uh, it's a it's an adventure game that's very surreal, very um, very uh, esoteric, very interesting, intriguing. Very uh, some have described it as Lynchian, which I think is a cop out. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna play it and we're gonna let you decide for yourself while we. Uh, try and um, do funny things over it. We don't really try and do funny things. We kind of just talk. Yeah. So we're going to do that. And we usually don't let you form your own opinions. It's true. As Joey has just implied. <laughs> it's true. I, I hate... I <laughs> <laughs> they cracked meals up in the other room. Damn, yeah, I heard him laugh all the way through the glass. Well, uh, the other game that we're going to be playing, because uh, we're in a dry season for video games. Yeah, we're so... So we decided to tap into our backlog, and we tapped so far back that we went back to when I was about nine years old. And we're going to play the video game Messiah. Yeah, we reached year, into Joey's childhood and just plucked out From the this year 2000. Um, I don't really know what Kentucky Route Zero is about, but I do Me know either. what Messiah is about. I don't know what either of these games is about. Messiah is about um, you are uh, a cherub angel named Bob, one of God's favorite angels. And he sends you down to a dystopian future Earth to figure, out, to figure <laughs> out what's wrong. <laughs> we'll get there. Okay. But, uh, Meals, why don't you come back in? And we're going to play some... I'm going to learn a lot today. Some KRZ. You know what Messiah is. Meals knows what Kentucky Route Zero is. I'm going in blind on both. I vaguely this know what Kentucky wild. Route Zero is. I played a little bit of the first chapter, and I was like, I guess I don't know what this is. And then I uh, stopped playing, because it wasn't out yet. It wasn't all out yet. Yep. But now it's out. Well, I've been waiting. Now it's out, and we're going to play it. For it to just come out before I even looked at it. I've never even seen gameplay of it. I really? have no idea. It's yeah. very good looking. That's the one thing that I can say. Uh, with confidence. Mm. It's very simple. Art style's great. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, Emilio. Uh, so this is my favorite game of all time, which I've probably said about Whoa! eight other games. So. <laughs> Emilio's uh, favorite game of all time. You heard it here first. Uh, I've been obsessed with this game since the first chapter came out in 2013, late 2012, early 2013. Damn, we just graduated high school. Mm-hmm. Whoa. It was like one of the Whoa. first games I played on my Mac that I got for college um, that had uh, parallels on it. I was running, I was running it on Windows on a Mac. So. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, so uh, after many years of development and many chapters, uh, there's five total chapters, um, but there's also intermissions between the chapters that came out like in the years between. Uh, they have finally released this kind of full package for consoles. I don't know about the other platforms it's on besides PC and Switch, but the TV edition, which is what we're going to play here, um, uh, is going to be with controller, which I'm not used to. So uh, this is a point-and-click adventure game, but I wouldn't really uh, equate it to being an adventure game in really any like in the traditional sense. It's much more of like a point-and-click mood piece experience kind of thing so all right let's hit it so yeah so this is the tv edition and it was uh this copy was uh gracefully provided to us by um a uh, friend of ours over at annapurna we and have hookups yes um <laughs> wevp tv yeah uh that's like the in fiction radio station and car bar computer is the uh if you're watching us at home <laughs> thanks if Thank you're watching you. this on TV, you could be watching us live on mixer.com slash home button TV. Besides booting this up, this is the first time I've actually like I'll actually be starting a file on this computer. Uh, to preface, I Which? have played the first few uh, acts of this game a few times through just because each time a new act would come out, I would catch up on the previous ones again just by playing them again. There is decision making, but it's pretty minor to certain extents. Um, so what is, what is the significance of these three options? This is something that's new to this version. So I'm assuming it's just slot one, two, and three. Yeah. Okay. I say 
I say you go for the audio tape. The, yeah. I, I, it it what appeals to me the most. Okay. Yeah. Audio okay, tape. Let's cool. do it. I think it I'm going to let coolest. you guys make some of the decisions because I've made all of these decisions before. So before okay. we like get in, why did this game take so long uh, to develop? Very small team. I think a pretty like, as far as I understand, I've been following these the the team forever. They've been pretty, uh, at least from just like a like a cursory look, been pretty quiet about what's taken them so long with this game. But I think mm -hmm. it just came down to they had a concise vision with what they wanted to do with it, and they just took their time because I guess they could. Gotcha. Um, yeah. I want to say this was a Whoa. a Kickstarter game originally. Um, uh, what? One came out? <laughs> yeah. uh, oh my god. Uh, but I think this game only like accrued like 50 grand or something on its Kickstarter. Which I is you know, enough yeah. money to make a game, right? <laughs> yeah, it definitely... It de like, I, I know about this game, which means it made a, a decent enough splash. Uh, why is the audio so bad? Uh, because they hate you, Jake. Uh, this is, fucking... is the audio actually bad? Because I will fix it if it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect job, Colby. All right. So, yeah, nothing went wrong. We have a show. Nothing went wrong. Hey, okay. So definitely nothing, and it definitely didn't just like cut in the middle of my intro. Yeah, what's going on? Uh, okay, hey, so hey, um, Joey introed the episode, and I. Uh, We're just having a good time. It's all going to Ten be minutes cut. did not go this by. This is. Uh, okay. Forgot the name of the game. This is Kentucky Route Zero. This is Kentucky Route Zero. Welcome to our show. It's a really cool game. I probably said a lot of things about it, mainly that it is a point-and-click adventure game, and this is the console version. And also, this version was provided to us by Annapurna, or this copy was provided to us by Annapurna. Um, uh, this is uh, has been one of my favorite games of like all time, though. Okay. So uh, they just finally finished the fifth act, and in the in-between years from uh, between the acts that they released starting in 2013, they released a bunch of little like experiences called like intermissions or interludes between those where you like would call a phone number and then answering like in like ARGs basically where you would call a hmm. phone number and like follow steps on an answering machine and stuff hmm. like that. Like, Talk to the attendant. Alrighty. So this isn't point and click on the TV version. I have to voice this guy. Damn, did you hear that wreck? Truck full of bottles. I don't know, beer bottles? Whiskey? <laughs> Lost a tire or something and spilled booze and glass all over the interstate. What a mess. I hope they don't come down here looking for anything. We blew a damn fuse and it's all shut off. Did I hear a dog? What's your dog's name? One of you has to be Conway. Oh, I didn't, I didn't think those were options. Well, <clears throat> um, I vote Blue. Yeah, Blue. I like Blue. All right. Her name is Blue. Blue sounds like a sweet old hound. <laughs> I used to know a dog like that. Colby Conway. <laughs> hey, here's some jerky for Blue. I made it myself. Didn't turn out too well, but I bet a dog will eat it. I would not trust that at all. Getting laid, right? I can feel the sun on my neck. I bet it's just a few feet off the horizon. Ooh. Hmm? I'd rather watch the sunset. Yeah, for sure. I've got a delivery to make on dogwood, but I'd rather watch the sunset. Yeah, it's the truth. You've got to stop and breathe in that road. I bet while you're out driving, you let your eyes wander up the tree line and you just... Well, I bet you're more of a poet than old Joseph. Do you like poetry? Yeah, sure. Oh, well, I just like to listen to the TV. I used to do a lot of poetry on the computer, but I don't have the ear for it lately. Listen, you and Blue would have been driving up and down 65 all night. Dogwood Drive is on the other side of... Well, to get there, you've got to take the zero. Ooh, look at it, Misty. Mm -hmm. The zero is a tough route to find, but you can use my computer hmm. to look up directions. You'll have to head down into the basement and reset the circuit breaker first. I'll be happy to have those whining lights back up anyway. It's too damn quiet out here. Whining lights. Why is this guy's power out? The basement door is back there in the office. Appreciate your help, friend. Oh, and here. 
take this lamp. It gets dark. Look at that lamp. So here I'm playing Conway. This is our dog now named Blue, which I will say has always been the name I've chosen in this game. Blue is such a good name. So I will say um, this is significantly different. Uh, it controls with an analog stick, whereas in the way I've played this, you would like a point-and-click game would be clicking places and that would direct them. So it's actually, um, this feels a lot more intuitive, I would say. Um, hmm. Let's see, what, what is... Someone needs to feed that dog. It's so skinny. It's just a greyhound. It's so skinny. Hmm. Just sits between gas pumps and a queen and armchair. His hair is gray and his glasses darkened. Gotta go. Gotta go fix the circuit breaker. Basement. Meanwhile, in the basement. Um, so this game is kind of kind of goes with the basement people. <laughs> kind of goes with like the magical realism genre of storytelling, mm, I guess. Okay. Um, Look at the basement we people. Might, we might we might you know we got another forty minutes to actually. Emily, games. Ben, and Bob sit in folding chairs behind a worn card table. Papers, oddly shaped dice, and highway maps cover the tabletop. Let's talk to them. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, didn't, didn't know anyone know was down there. here. <laughs> Why are they just sitting in the dark? It's terrifying. I hate it. No, sorry, so look at the rules again. I would you say like at anything. It's the dark. This genre of games would like usually have like puzzles and stuff, but I think I call it like a mood piece or an experience because like there might be some puzzle elements if I I don't remember correctly, but nothing like like adventure games. This is very much just you're going through the story. Uh, roll the roll the five right. That means you get to pick up your marker and move it anywhere on the map. So it's your turn now, right? All right, Colby, you're Emily. <laughs> Niels, you're Ben, and I'm Bob. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Where'd you put that 20-sided die? I don't see it. <laughs> Did you drop it? Uh, it should be easy enough to find. It glows in the dark. So we have to find a glowing... The fucking Man, imagine if I tried that when games. the audio was still real shit. <laughs> it would have been real bad. <laughs> what are you talking about? would have been real bad. A dusty, yeah, rusty sign is bolted onto the wall. <laughs> Dusty, rusty sign. Sign, these are the rules. Bolted on the wall. One, <laughs> no open flames near the gasoline. Two, no consumption of beer or spirits on the premises. Three, in case of sudden darkness, do not panic, relax, count backwards from five. Four, strictly limit time spent in the basement to fewer than three minutes. These are just classic American rules of life. Every hour. So laws. So I can use my lamp. Ah. Oh. Get the game piece. Get the game piece. Mm. Conway picks up the glowing 20-sided die and inspects it. The number five is facing up. It's just a small piece of plastic, but it has a reassuring, almost comforting weight. He places the object in his jacket pocket. Oh, interesting. It still does the, uh, so if you saw that, uh, oh yeah. Is that like a save or something? No, that is uh, like, that is how the point and click worked. Uh, so uh, now gotcha. Emily, Bob, and Ben are gone. Hmm. Hmm. Chairs are rearranged on a worn card table. The chairs are empty and the surface of the table is bare. Um, Keep it. Wait, no. Don't disrupt the ghosts. Leave it on the table. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, put it on the table. Activate the breaker. Uh, yeah, that, uh, um, what's it called? A uh, horseshoe thing was the animation for clicking. I don't know how I actually got it to work there, but. I love uh, how the underground is the rest of the horse. Yes. Did oh the art, wow! I did not even the art style, that. the art direction <laughs> in this game good. is is phenomenal. That's very good. Oh, the lights are on. Look at that. What a cool looking gas station too. Just listen to those lights whine. Yep. Yeah, you got to tell him about the basement people. Don't tell him about the basement. He knows about the basement people. I vote, sure. I vote option one. Fine. Yeah. You guys. Why do well, you think he wouldn't go <laughs> to the basement himself? He I better get knew. those directions and head to the zero, if you don't mind. So, computer's in the office. You're looking for Marquez. She knows her way around those roads. She'll get you to the zero. The password is, uh, damn. 
I usually just feel it out. Muscle memory, you know? It's kind of long, kind of like a short poem, I think. One of those short poems that really sums it all up. You'll figure it out. Yeah, let's go use this computer. I'm a big baby, I can shake on my bones, is the <laughs> password. Still the only episode of that show I've seen. Wow. It's you, User. <laughs> you showed so it. So this me. is, I love the way this game kind of like uses the text to like do stuff like this. I don't yeah. know, it's really neat. Uh, uh, don't lie. Don't lie. Joseph. Joseph wins because my name's Joseph. Yeah, I'm fine. That works. Okay. Password. Hmm. We're gonna Let's make, get the chat to make a choice. We're going to make a poem. Let's get the one viewer we have. One viewer, <laughs> make the decision. We'll slide loose, stars drop away, or I talk and we're listen the one to him viewer. talking. Are we the one viewer? We'll I find say, out. I say I vote the stars drop away. I also vote the stars drop away. The viewer. I, yeah, I don't, I don't have a yeah. vote. It's fine. <laughs> the stars oh, drop no. Away. We did have a viewer. Renee. <laughs> Uh, she wrote nobody, loose. Saw, nobody saw the accident. The moon throbs. It's late. Sorry, Renee. Now Too get late. Okay, now she fix. Yeah, for sure. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, now now Renee picks. Nobody <laughs> saw the accident. Oh, Renee just throbs. The moon throbs. The stars drop away. The moon throbs. You just breathe, road. The lights whine, or it will only get later. Breathe road, wine, or later, Renee. Oh, no. Yeah, that was weird. No, I was going to say, because it's going to take a while. Oh, no, she'll, it's fine. She'll get it. She'll get it. Right? Wine. The lights whine. And that's what I call viewer Password interaction. Password accepted. And remember, if you're watching on TV or at home, you too could be interacting in the chat at mixer.com slash home button TV. How's it going in there? Ah, no, Joseph! Figuring it all out? Sure you are. So we need to find Marquez. Uh, address book. Exit. <laughs> address book. Uh, it's going blind. Zero. Zero. Dogwood Drive. Marquez. Search for Marquez. Exit. <laughs> Exit. Just leave. 100 Macondo Lane, head northeast. So, uh, this is kind of leading into one of the mechanics of at least the, the earlier chapters of we're going to have to drive. Uh, so, head northeast on the 65 and turn left as soon as you see that ugly tree that's always on fire. Look for the barn at the base of the mountain there. Can't miss it. Wait, what? Oh. Interesting. So, just remember, uh, we got to head uh, northeast on the 65 and turn, turn left. Turn left as soon as we see the ugly tree that's always on fire. Uh, got it? Out there in Macondo somewhere, right? Yeah, that's it. Hey, look, while you were down there, I loaded that old TV of mine into your truck. I borrowed that thing from Weaver Marquez a number of years ago, and now that the power's all weird over here, I can't pick up anything but static and public access anyway. <laughs> Shout out to Public Access TV, what up? You're watching this on Channel 15 or 215 in the Burlington area in the state of Vermont. What's up? Oh, yeah. Anyway. So, uh, just for the sake of time, I am going to move on to our... Oh, Let's stay here forever, blue. dude. Sun's gone down. You and Blue better get on that road if you're going to make your delivery. I like Talk the hat blue. on Blue. That's Joseph, oh, not oh, Blue. I, I'm getting used to how I select the thing. So the right stick selects your options in the in the zone. Gotcha. Maybe the D-pad does, too. Yeah, it does. Cool. That's actually a little better. Hmm. Take it easy, Blue. Yeah. Get in that truck. Probably better not to ask a question of the dog. Let's see. Uh, let's see what the truck says on it. A moving truck rumbles softly to itself. Painted on its side are the words "Lysette's Antiques." Furniture, glassware. Excuse me. Curiosities. Let's go. It's time to go. There's more to do here. Right, no, it's, it's definitely time to, go. time to go. It's time to go. There's more to do here. It's time to so. Split. This is the interstate. Um, so. Travel to different places, and huh. so one of my uh, one of the things I really enjoy about this is when we do find objects of interest. These dragonflies. Oh, I, I hit the burning tree, but a tall black oak burns on a hill above the road, and it just gives you kind of like 
the description and things. The truck truck strikes strikes towards the shoulder. No, I'm reading these, motherfucker. <laughs> Nearly run off the road by a swarm. No! <laughs> so we gotta take a left at the tree. Ah, go to Marquez, Marquez farmhouse. farmhouse. So there's a bunch of other stuff to explore there. I challenge anybody to. You challenge me? Yeah. There's um there's there I, if I remember correctly because it's been a couple of years since the last time I actually went through all these acts. I believe there's certain like scenarios where it just brings up the text boxes and you can have conversations with people like on, while you're in the overworld. Like you're not actually like in these gotcha. set pieces. Hey, blue. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Pretty dark. <laughs> uh, Hope yeah. I can borrow you a treat up there. Yeah, we, we want to get... Why does he keep accepting dog treats from strangers? Who knows, dude? It's very weird. A street lamp lights the base of a dusty path leading up the hill. You know what? It's more than weird. It's, it's irresponsible. That is not... The I okay. looking out for them digital dogs. I absolutely love like, the, tr the scene transitions in yeah, this game. Yeah, that's real good. That's pretty. A family graveyard is set off to the side of the house. Headstones are inscribed with the surnames of the unfortunate Nowakowski, Padilla, Marquez. The, uh, the, uh, the beautiful was... ambient sound doesn't sound as... Um... No, it's like whoa, whoa, whoa through, our, <laughs> through our muddy speakers. When are you getting that fixed? Listen. It's been like two years. It's really only for us... <laughs> yeah. Light switch. We're the only people that like use it for actual listening. What's with all these people just in the dark? I was just thinking what a lovely house we have. Do you like it? Have you been here before? Did you happen to see an owl? I didn't see an owl. Yeah, I didn't see an owl. We heard the owl. Kind of. It... Big ugly thing. All mm. sound and fury. Well, it's gone now. There used to be another house here, but we had it destroyed, and we built this one. It was very expensive, and we got quite underwater. And what do you do for work? Is it too difficult, or do you like it very much? I was once a mathematician. Are you looking for something in particular here? Uh, well, well, well. It is better than being in a ditch. You know what? But we are looking for the zero. But the first option is very exposition heavy, like everyone else's. Give them a taste of their own medicine. <laughs> I like the way that Colby thinks. <laughs> All right. I believe it's hard times for a small antique shop. It's hard times everywhere, even out here on our little farm. My parents stopped paying the bank a while back. I shouldn't even be here, but I just stayed. I have some notebooks. I'm only a little bored. I might prefer to watch TV occasionally. I don't know why I got a little evil there. Joseph says you're too smart to watch TV, or actually I have a TV here that I think belongs to you. Yeah, it belongs to you. Can you please set it up? <laughs> then I can explain to you how to zero oh, she knows she knows that we're going to the zero set up the tv oh Have yeah we, we had her in the oh, tv okay i was like wait what pulled it out of the truck whoa all right whoa that's very cool i've played this part but i forgot how neat it is Uh, wouldn't allow to watch television. Wouldn't allow you to watch television. Uh, I thought she heard ghosts in the static. Ma thought she heard ghosts in the static. Dad thought it was radioactive. I know how to set up a TV. She's saying it's it's wrong. Dad thought it was radioactive. Sure. <laughs> I know about that. He was ill, wasn't he? Mentally, I mean. Kind of cautious, timid. Hmm. Huh. Oh. Well. No, just expressive. Yeah, yeah I, like I like that, that one. <laughs> you have it all backwards. I'm not surprised. Are you? Have you been paying attention? I don't think you have. It's time to start paying attention now, Conway. Look closely at the television. Get me in there. Bring me closer to the I television. Like how it's not zooming in on the television. Well, there's a reason for that. Now you play as a horse. Hey. Hey, wake up. You spaced out there for a minute. Ask her what she keeps in the barn. It used to be tools and feed, and then books. Now it's mostly spiders. Fuck that. Jeez. The TV is picking up the wrong signal. My cousin Shannon would know more about it. She fixes TVs for a living. 
Well, she used to. I think the new models are giving her some trouble. So I really just need to get to the zero. Yeah. I'm not convinced you should bother with zero. I Fix my TV. Okay. It's pretty easy to get back on the 65 heading north and take first right after the artificial limb factory. From there, your arrival okay. at the zero is basically inevitable. Nice to know you, Conway. Keep your eyes open, especially in the dark. Especially in the dark. Now, if you wandered around in the overworld, could you find the zero before doing this? Um, I don't think so. Oh, I turned up the volume for a second. It's a very pretty game. Yes, this game is uh, also... Uh, this is kind of like just like surface level like of like some of the set pieces in this game. I think this game gets like even more beautiful. Oh, and Weaver's gone. Oh. Yeah, kind of par for the course at this point. Although her car is gone as well, which is less You just spaced weird. out. Weird. Yeah. Just spaced out. Weaver. Has the graveyard changed? Conway. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, because you're getting closer to me. Oh. Oh, I thought those were guns. I thought it was like an angry mob going to the house. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Horses. Yeah, horses for sure. Remember the horses you and Lissa and Ira had? Yeah. I miss them sometimes. Horses are a big aesthetic in this game, so I'm always going to go with the horse option. I miss them sometimes, the horses. Yours didn't like to sleep in the barn either. Horses. Conway has places to go. Yeah. Yeah. What was, we have to take a right at the artificial limb factory? Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't pay attention to the for direction. But yeah, fortunately, yeah. this little diary. Oh, nice. Zero on ramp. Directions right. from the Marquez farm. Go back on the 65, heading north, then take the first right after the artificial limb factory. Creek runs alongside the highway and then turns towards a, door a dirty brick building. A grinding drone from within the building is faintly audible from the interstate. Floodlights on the lawn illuminate smokestacks. At the edge of the building's parking lot, a large sign, partly obscured by trees, reads, A mare to official <laughs> limb factory. Well, this isn't it. This can't be. This is a real limb factory. On ramp? The horse factory. Do, do, Clinks in the chat. Do, 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 do. I honestly, I can't remember. because I shaved a while ago, Matt, <laughs> at the times. Elkhorn Valley. I just haven't shaved in a while, actually. Are you going to go clean for a little while? Or? No, I just can't find my razor blades right now. <laughs> That's literally it, and I'm too lazy to buy more. <laughs> All right, uh, here we are. So, let's talk to Blue. Shall we just take a pair of scissors and separate it? Use a one blade. Yeah. No, I'm probably going to get a haircut and just have the guy shave me. Get that stray razor shave so it's real close. I just told you how to get a stray razor shave. For That's free. a straight scissor shave. Mm. Act one, scene four. Yeah, this uh, this is also the shortest act by Elkhorn a lot. Mime. This, this came out as kind of like the, I, I feel like a proof of concept for the rest of the game. Renee's backing me up. I also haven't shaved because I'm sick. Or I was sick. You know what? I'm fun. glad we don't have the chat up on the screen anymore. Sounds like <laughs> excuses. Speaks in, uh, Shannon speaks into the large brick cell phone held, uh, held up to her ear. Oh, uh, yeah, it kind of is an emergency. Inaudible. But can I trust him to just change the, not to just change the locks? Yes, and I appreciate that, but... Okay. okay, you're right. All right. Forget it. Bye. No, you do not love her. 
No, whoever this is. Yeah, blue looks like hurt. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Blue does not look right. I didn't buy it, Colby. No, I see it. Excuse me, ma'am. I saw the light on, uh, and I'm looking for the on ramp too. Uh, kick me off, or do you believe? Uh, Matt hey. wants to know when you're going to coach his 80s hockey team to vic victory with that mustache. I don't know. Might might take a miracle. Well, let's see. I do believe miracle a place. <laughs> I do believe a place can be haunted, if that's what you mean. What about a person? No, that's not what I mean. Can a person be haunted? No. So I didn't read the second option, so I just thought you were saying no to me. No. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay. I'm sorry about that. Uh, sure, I guess a person could. Sometimes I feel haunted myself. What haunts you? Me too. Mm. Me too. I don't care enough about this lady. I don't want to know anything more about her. Oh, yeah? Did, uh, is that what <laughs> led you down here? Yes. So I guess this place must be pretty important. Maybe I'm in the right place after all. Here's what it is. I drive deliveries for a shop called Lysette's Antiques, and I'm out here trying to finish this job. You're making a delivery to the mine? Wait, why are we now playing as Shannon? It's the game kind of switches who you play as okay. every once in a while. But gotcha. the Conway is your main character. Though. Your main guy. Uh, I'm making a delivery to the mine. Oh, um, no. I have a delivery for five Dogwood Drive, and I can't remember seeing that address before. Now, I heard I, I need to take a highway called the Zero. So I met this young lady, name of Weaver Marquez, and she sent me this way. So here I am. Uncommon kind of place for an on-ramp, but that's what it's been like so far anyway with. What? What? Oh, now you're calling me again. Wanna know? Play it straight. We don't, we don't understand that we've talked to dead people. So we're the zero. Damned zero. Yeah. I never heard of the damned zero. That doesn't sound like a real highway, but I know Weaver. But I know Weaver. I've known her all my life. She was, she's my cousin. I'm Shannon Marquez. Could be right. Might be right. Weaver doesn't lie. Are dead. One time when we were younger, she told my dad. She told me my dad had been in a terrible car wreck. There was crushed metal everywhere, and we'd be hearing it echo through the house for years. She said, "I was very upset, crying, and then my dad walked in the door, just." come back from a trip to the junkyard collecting scrap metal to fashion into wind chimes. I was angry, but she said it wasn't a joke and it, was, it wasn't a lie. At that time, or at the time, I thought she meant it was a riddle or a puzzle. But Weaver's not a puzzle, she's a mystery. But he didn't get into a car accident. I guess he did yeah. technically get into Let's just keep going a with terrible this. car Let's just pr <laughs> completely forget all the weird shit she's saying. So maybe the like, zero is down here somewhere, so what are you doing down here, Shannon? What are you doing just, down here, Where's Shannon? the highway? Come on. Just. Okay. Maybe it is. Well, I won't mind the company. I've got business down here myself. Shannon. I've talked to Weaver earlier this... I talked to Weaver earlier this evening, too. Or anyway, she talked to me. It's hard to tell if she's listening sometimes. Weaver told me I had to come down here to the old Elkhorn mine. She said, I, she said I'd find something I've been uh, looking for. Where did you see Weaver? At my workshop. She j just appeared. I hadn't seen her since a long time. It's not such a bad thing, you showing up now. All told, I'd rather not go down there alone. Your dog should stay up here, though. It's no place for a dog. This is an old mine. It runs pretty deep and tangled. We're going to, if we're going to go down into it, find your on-ramp and whatever else, we've got to keep our bearings. I don't want to get turned around. How's he going to make the delivery if he's not driving his car on the on-ramp? Hmm. One of the game's first she mysteries. She has a, a thing for topology, so yeah. Oh, right. topology. Sure, let's look around. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Let's look around. Topology, 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 apologies. Hmm? Nice. Yeah, that's my rap. It's pretty good. Topologies. The same word a bunch of times, and then apologies. Yeah. Welcome to rap music. Hey, Blue, stay. Yeah, Blue, Blue, stay. Blue, blue. stay. That sign in the background says no work tomorrow. Oh, sweet. Yeah. You don't have to work in the mines tomorrow, Colby. Let's use the PA system. That runs into the mines PA system. Do you think it still works? Ooh. Only one way to find out. Time to sing a sad song into it. All right, give it a whirl. Uh, hmm. Test it out with silence. 
Is anybody uh, down there? I'm going with how big is this place. Sure. Tricky to keep stuff powered. Shitty plastic tokens, coal script, you know. Directors you have to put a token in. Off. My parents used to work here, so did Weaver's parents. I guess a lot of folks' parents work down here. You have to put a token into the PA system? So let's just head down the line and see what we see. Can we power it up? Free up some power of the PA system. Everything is rationed here. Uh, here, set up that lamp of yours, and I'll go and plug these ceiling lights. Ooh. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Fidget with the change in your pocket. All right. I heard the speakers back here crackle a bit. It's on now, right? Try saying something into the mouthpiece. Well. Okay, I hear you. We need to measure the echo delay time and figure out how deep the tunnels run. What? <laughs> Just okay. make some noises into the mouthpiece. Ooh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Rub a finger along the surface of the mouthpiece. <laughs> Conway scrapes a coin across Ugh. the mouthpiece, knocks on the table, hums a deep tone. Just like... <sighs> yeah, let's do that. <laughs> uh, blow on it. It's a long delay. These tunnels run deep. I bet some of them have ruptured or joined up with a cave system. So I'm a spectrum in. analyzer. We can get a sense of how narrow the tunnels are. Don't be shy. Just say anything that comes into your head. Tell me a story about something or what you did, had for breakfast. Here's a story. I used to work during roof repair. I used to work during roof repair. My boss got God, a that speaker is real big job. It sounds realistic. Real bad. Uh, we even fixed up a church roof once. Oh, yeah, a church roof. Should have taken us an hour to get there. It seemed like a big project, but doable. When I was too hungover, we were in a uh, thunderstorm hit. Yep. Got it. Looks like the tunnels are pretty cramped. Yeah, low ceilings. Hope you're ready to stoop, stoop a bit. Eh, you're probably used to it. One more test. We just need to know if the air is breathable or if it's too thin or too dense. Just sit real close to the mouthpiece and breathe. I'll measure the resonance of your breath with the air in the tunnels. Just try to react, relax. Who is this woman? <laughs> we need to measure the resonance of the air. <laughs> Conway breathes and thinks about the road, thinks about rusting. Yeah. Conway's road dead set on that road. Yeah. yeah. He loves the road. Conway breathes and remembers the moment earlier in the day. Ooh, younger, immediately, all the way back. Getting some pretty strong readings here. I think we're in good shape, but keep it uh, at it a minute. Hot meal. Hot meal? Hot meal. Reason relaxes yes. as a peel of feedback in loose rock engulfs him. Uh, oh, we just feedbacked a, a cave in. Shit happens, dude. Shit happens. As long as blue is okay. Who knows? Do, 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 do. Do, do, act one, do, do. scene five. So they just came out with the fifth act? Mm hmm. Nice. How yeah, long are I would say uh, I'd say the other acts are about like they'll range from like an hour forty-five to three hours, gotcha. depending. Uh, and then there's the all the intermissions, which I didn't do all of them. <laughs> if we don't uh, say our leg is stuck, is our leg still stuck? Say your leg is stuck. Okay, I'm gonna pull you out. We have to get you out of here. Here you yeah. go. Are you hurt? Can you put any weight on that leg? It's all messed up. It's fine. Uh, it's fine. Just try to stand up, careful. I'm right here. Damn, don't worry, I got you. That leg is in bad shape. Here, let's get you onto the tram. Tram? Let's see if this thing has power. Oh yeah, this is where I stopped playing last time. Oh really? Yeah. I love this scene. Right out one of the auxiliary exits. Uh, what about the on ramp? Yeah. Where's Blue? We'll just find the exit and then figure out what to do from there. That's our first priority. So the controls are over on your side, let's get moving. Did we Do you remember, did you pay attention during this scene? Did they leave the dog at the front? Yeah. I think so. No, I'd stop playing before you like moved. So. That's cool. You can have this on, but if you have it off, it's more interesting. Glimpses. Glimpses of people. Oh, and horses. Do those things show up if you have the torch on? Whoa. Hmm. No. Okay. Oh, what? That's so cool. Miners. 
cool. Pretty cool. I love it. It's very neat. It reminds me of a metro in the ghost tunnels. Mm -hmm. For sure. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. I'd still like to look around a bit. I think I saw a tunnel with some broken up tracks back there. I'm wondering what's down there. Interesting how you can like choose which character you're gonna go with. Oh, yeah, there's not like a tremendous amount of choice in this game. It's it's really a lot of like how you like the the version of the character you want to be, I guess. Gotcha. Paper values. Canary twenty five tokens. Canary sold at the company store. Did they also sell respirators? Birds must have been set free, or maybe the, uh, the cage is cleaned. Cardinals and Louisville Zoo. Oh, you're just thinking. Yep. You're just hanging out while you wait for, uh, yep. what's her face? Can I? There you go. A pile of tape reels is jammed into the top of the tram. They must have been thrown on in a rush. The reels are unlabeled. The tape has decayed. My son and nice. Iris' son, Charlie, talked about a piece of music he liked made with old decaying tapes. What was it called? Something about Charlie had the most bizarre taste in music. Weird, noisy computer music. Where did he even hear that stuff? Louisville, probably. Or college. He was a smart kid. Damn pity. He started listening to that computer music. And went to college. Can we get a computer music in chat? I've actually never done this decision. You can just go with her. Hmm. Uh, horses. Houses, maybe? Or verses, even? Crude and hurried handwriting, too. My set has immaculate handwriting, pristine and measured cursive, never a stray mark. For the last several months, she filled out receipts for each order. Since that young couple complained that, about the handwriting on the order slip, it's carbon paper, anyways. It's bound to wear over time. If they're so precise about their records, they should put it on a computer, anyway. Yeah, do, you're just chilling. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. She's never coming back. This is the game now. Sure. Yeah, that do, works. Do. Leave her. Where are we? There we are. Whoa. He looks like a fucking ghoul. <laughs> What's happening right now? Oh, he's tall. His legs hurt. He's limping. Oh. Yeah. Did we come out the other side, or is it just flipped camera angle? Oh. Hey, stranger. I didn't think you were coming back. She was gone forever. Sure I was, why wouldn't I be? People just keep disappearing tonight. Well, here I am, damn it. Sorry. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. How's the leg? Uh, it's slow. I'm trying to get too far ahead of you. You don't mind my hitching a ride, do you? Kind of got a little, uh, uh kind of got a lift out here and wasn't sure if, uh, when I'd be heading back, I could drive. Yeah, let her drive. Maybe that's best. I've been oh. driving since I was nine. Okay. I, I still need to find yeah, the zero. Yeah, set on that zero. Well, it's like I told you, Weaver doesn't lie. If she sent you here just to find out and wrap, this is where you should be looking. Or maybe you just weren't listening closely enough, and that's not exactly what she said. I saw uh, Weaver at my workshop that's up north by Lake Nolan, uh, right at Wax and Peonia, uh, in the back of the bait shop. Pretty glamorous, right? These are the times we live in. She's either up there or back at the farmhouse, whichever you want to head to first, just let me know. Huh. Say probably go for another uh, seven, eight minutes just because we got a late start on this game. Sure, sure. I mean, the other game we can play for literally as long <laughs> as, as we feel. So, uh, guess that's uh, your truck. That's my truck. All right, let's get it. Uh, let's see what Blue's up to. What's up, Blue? Introduce him. <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you, Blue. <laughs> I've got some oh, driving. Banana slices, give them. 
Yes. Stop it. Stop feeding the dog and random shit. Give the dog shit. all he needs the food. food. That's true. I don't really like food. that. I don't Apparently like Conway that. doesn't feed him. Take care of your friend out here. Uh, and there's more where that came from. Truck. Drive the truck. Conway has places to go. Conway has places to go. Conway has places to go. Places to be. Places to go. Oh, um. What? Why are we looking for the person that didn't give us good directions? For more directions not from great directions? The Marquez farm. Head back on the 65, head north, and take the first right up the artificial loan factory. Oh, we want to go back to the Marquez farm. Well, she said you could also go north to the workshop. She said she Which do you guys workshop prefer? Or go to the workshop. Let's go to the workshop. Yeah. Where is it just straight up? Yeah, I think so. Who knows? She didn't really give great directions. I remember a way to... I don't know what this is. Hold on. That, like, other sheet? Hmm. Maintenance record. Bones boot. Is it just that maybe? Hmm. I know not where the workshop is. Head north, uh, turn left as soon. Okay. Let's go back. Yeah. To. Yeah, because with Shannon with you, maybe something else will happen. Yeah, and it marks um, the locations once you've yep. been to them. Alrighty. Do, 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 do. Act one, scene six. Marquez Farmhouse. Dun, Federal dun. Bureau of Control. <laughs> I want to play that game again. Oh, yeah. Can't wait for to put out foundation. I'm limping. Oh, I, uh, I think I missed the ramp, unfortunately. <laughs> Yikes. You fool. All right, there we go. Well, I'm used to the PC version where... Where you can just click. Yeah. <laughs> just have them walk. I think oh, you might miss it. It's coming out, so I think it's right. No, no. you missed it again. No way. I don't understand. Oh boy. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be good at video games. I'm a gamer. Are you a gamer? A real gamer would have made Four that gamers. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get there. Don't get ahead of yourself. Whoa. Is it letting me know? Yeah, yeah. That looks right. There you go. I feel like I'm on the right plane now. Somebody crossed the camera, you guys. Somebody walked in front of it. Somebody that's not us. Could be us. Somebody controlled by the computer. Somebody else. It's probably a horse. This is bum, video bum. games. So how's everybody's day? You uh, Yeah, you stop. You want to you want to keep yeah. you I keep, have to have to wait. Out. Yeah, she's oh, helping. Okay. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. My day was pretty good. This reminds me of the opening of Destiny 2 where you just can't move at full speed. You just have to limp. Yep. Uh, what an exciting uh, opening. Uh, put her in that uh, graveyard. Yeah, put her in the graveyard. And then, and then let's What's play our, a real game. No, oh, hold on. We'll, we'll <laughs> go into the house and then. There's nobody buried it's out here. It's decorative. No. Oh, okay. It's art or something. I don't know. A decorative graveyard? Can you not read? Malkowski, Padilla, I don't know those names. Maybe the people who lived here before. I know when they bought it, this property it already had a house and everything. Maybe they just some symbolic meaning. One of the headstones, Marquez. I used to think that was for my parents. Now I don't know. Hmm. I don't know either, Shannon. Yeah, why don't you tell me? It yeah, could still be Shannon? you, Shannon. There's a fire in my heart, and you fan it, Janet. Nice. I hate, I hate this speaker so much that owl sounded like. <laughs> 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 Where is she? 
Oh, did you expect the Weaver, Weaver to be here? Yeah, I did. So this is where she was, yeah? Makes sense. This was where Weaver and her parents lived. They took out a bunch of loans, you know, and had this place built. Do you have any debts? I owe some people some apologies. You're lucky that's all that all you owe. Your parents were like that until the company store found a way to get to them. For my dad, it was tokens to run the fans and air purifiers. For my, my mom, it was canaries. Two solutions to the same problem, but they sure sounded different. Weaver had debt too, a lot of it, all tuition. Yeah. She said she was a mathematician or something? Yeah, she studied some esoteric stuff about something about using math to translate between Spanish and English. Using math to translate between the Spanish and English? I think eventually English. Weaver put those math skills to work on all, uh, all the red numbers in the family checkbook. Got a clear sense of just about how hopeless her situation was. So she left. Guess she just drove away in the middle of the night. They woke up in the morning uh, and the car was gone. Never came back until tonight. Huh. She seemed really focused on that old TV. Oh, that's not something you see every day. That old TV right there, well, that is, that is a damned antique for you. I had a model like that in the shop once, but I had to sell it off to make rent. Most painful decision I ever made. So you don't mind if I open it up? Looks like the dials are all corroded and the screen is leaking uh, light a bit. Come on. I bet Lysette would never forgive you for letting a specimen like that fall into disrepair. Hey, you didn't mention Lysette. He saw the truck. Or she saw the truck. Oh, okay. uh, she made a comment on it before. And he did this is that. This is where we'll finish well. off here after this scene. Yeah, I'm gonna get this. This looks cool. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, these tubes are all messed up. So oh back. yeah. There's moss growing on this one. It's okay. I have a few spares in my bag here. Here I pulled this one out of an old computer monitor. It just needs to be recalibrated a bit. Okay, that ought to, ought to, or should be something now. Are you seeing anything? <laughs> that does look dangerous because she's just like fixing a TV while it's on. Yeah. Damn, okay, here, I think the contacts are dirty. Now go tell, don't go telling my customers I clean off old vacuum tubes with spit. Is she a TV repair woman? Yeah, they, yeah. Uh, Weaver oh, yeah, said that. Yeah. That's very funny. Whoa. That was cool, what the fuck? There's the zero. Oh shit. And that's a very good good point to leave, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Okay, cool. Um, so once this cuts, because I think this will end the chapter, I do or the act, I do want to see what, if if it does, because I can't remember, I want to see what it where it spits us out in terms of the menus really quickly, and then we can pop on over to. Uh, Messiah. Get ready. Messiah. End yep, of go. Act One. So there was a shit ton of other stuff we could have done. This is not. It's not just a forty-five minute little thing there, but it can be if you wanted to. Gotcha. Um. So. Oh. Okay. So I oh, see. Limits and demonstrations. So it's, yeah, it's is the one limits thing. and demonstrate. So they mm. they did these in between things and. Uh, gotcha. Um. It looks like there's uh, something that they that happens after five, but, yeah, but um, I haven't played five yet. Uh, some of these uh, later chat or the you know the third and fourth chapter get like super emotional. I highly recommend them. So cool. Yeah. And uh, Kevin's, Kevin's, Kevin's playing chapter. Tetris 99. <laughs> Very emotional. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Um, so yeah, let's we're gonna switch on over. That was Kentucky Road Zero. Thank you so much. Uh, and yeah, Matt. This is the new Apex update. Yeah. Um, yep. Well, thanks for checking out Apex it. Legends. Uh, new uh, Act One update. Uh, yeah. Kentucky Route Se Apex. Season five. Yep. And uh, now we're gonna we're gonna go back in time. Stop zapping our electronics, Emilio. Zaptronics. <laughs> um. Unplug the thing and do the stuff. Unplug. That's blue now. Yeah, the strong narrative direction of Apex and the visual style is also uh, it's also very good. Pax hype in the chat though. Let's go. Pax. Hi. Remember, if you're watching us at home or on TV, you could be talking to us live in the chat at mixer.com slash home button TV. Oh, did the thing happen where I have to restart the computer? Or is the computer asleep?
It's probably asleep. Wake it up. Wake it up inside. Wake up. Okay, well, we are. It's awake. We can see our settings on there, uh -huh. but we can't see it on the TV. Maybe it's just something plugged into the TV. Hold on. Uh, which one is the display? Setting? Uh, above, right this there. One? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I love when does we it have. Not indicate that we have two monitors right now. It does not. I love when we have audio and video issues in the same episode. It's very good. <laughs> Whew. The hell was that noise? That was weird. That was. It's like 9 p.m. in fucking south under Burlington, and something just rumbled the building. There's a train track right next to it. Could actually. be a plow as well. Yeah, but it sounded like on the other side. Cool. Yeah. All right. Um. Do you actually want to switch seats with me? Yeah, I do. We're uh. All right. Mike. Mike's. Mike's. Uh, oh, Mike. Yeah. Mike swap. Mike swap. Mike. Mike. Mike swap 2020. Joey, just so you know. I can hear static electricity on this mic as dude, Meals is moving in. Dude, what's going on with you, the socks, dude. I Meals, got them at Goodwill. Dude, made of electricity. Uh, I got them at Goodwill, but they were new socks. Oh, man. No it's good being on the couch. Didn't get shocked. Cool. Well, what's up? I'm in a different hey, what's camera. Up, dude? Not that it would matter if they were going to put that right here. Let's play some Messiah, boys. I'm yeah. hoping the audio still works. Good From what I've seen of Messiah so far, which is this. I don't think I need the mouse. And best not part. much more. It Best part is like... I think it's just keyboard. Four gamers. Five gamers. Interplay. interplay. <laughs> God, I love that intro. So for us, what it's like it's like this yeah. much of the screen. On our right TV now. screen, it's like we've got like maybe a forty-inch flat screen in front of us, and it's just like ten percent. Oh, this screen. is like this is like a fifty-two inch. 52? Fifty-five. This is fifty-five. So it's it's interesting that it's like filling the screen on the screen. Though. Yeah, for you guys, it's filling the screen. For us, it's Unless like imagine it... like a two forty p window <coughs> in a ten eighty p. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, this game. Yeah, I described it at the beginning of the show, but it's um. Who knows if that made it through? I'm gonna let the uh, I'm gonna let the yeah. <laughs> it probably did not make it through, so I'll describe oh, it. You uh, this game you play as a little angel named Bob, one of God's favorite angels, and he sends you down to a dystopian cyberpunk Earth. Audio by Tommy Tallarico Tommy Studios. Tommy Tallarico Studios. Love it. Yeah. Anyway, I forgot there was actually a voice line that did that, so I didn't have to. Yeah. But um, you are sent to dystopian future, like cyberpunk Earth, in order to like figure out what's going on with humanity. And uh, it's it's uh, it's a weird game, boys. It's weird, and I honestly don't remember how to play it. It's kind of loud, but I like it. How's that volume in comparison to? I think it's fine. It's a. Uh... Right, do you? Is that working? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play that on this, this is the uh, oh, Instagram chat for using Kentucky Route Zero. Play on the Sun, no. Not the Sun, I'm playing Profit. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play on Disciple just to, <laughs> just to show this game off. Whew. Team Ego. Is this presents. game only played with mouse and keyboard? I think so, yeah. <laughs> okay. They had an invented controller. Tommy so. Tallarico. A little volume now, we got. Yeah. Let me, uh, I'm just gonna turn this up for a sec. Turn this up. Oh. <laughs> Bob. Yeah? I've got something for you to do today. What? Oh my god. I want you to clean up something for me. That okay, doesn't it's good. sound like fun. Actually, it should be a pretty big job. Why would I want to do that? Because I want you to. And I think it would build character. I got enough character. Couldn't someone else do it? I'm sending you to Earth. It's in sad shape, and I'm hoping you might straighten it up a little. I'd rather not. Yep. Enjoy your trip. Fuck Tommy Tommy goes to bed. It's doing the voice of <laughs> Yeah, but that baby, though. <laughs> Very good. So I'm going, Lenny, take your mom to the hospital. It's an emergency take her now, and he's like, he's like, oh, don't worry about it. No, 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 no. She's up, she's asleep right now. He calls me up two hours before the shift and makes me come on. Really? Of course I gotta come in. This is the second night in a row I gotta work for that guy. You know, when I'm talking to people, I usually go, yeah. 
He's screaming all the way down, huh? The father prime has some scientist ghouls trying to open up a doorway to another dimension. Can you believe that? It's crazy. Another dimension, jeez. Is this God and Jesus? What? What? Can I get a tattoo that says that? That tiny baby somehow hit both of those men. No, just one. Screaming all the way down. Matt says he's gonna get a tattoo that says screaming all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Uh, yeah. So, uh... Every single time yeah, this game the, changes... I love the visual voices. <laughs> <laughs> you, you okay? Oh, look at the textures on that boy. Freaking the fuck out. Is this coming in interlace? Because, like, on our screen it looks yeah, great, but the here... It is, yeah. Yeah. I'm a cop. Did he say I'm a cop? I'm he goes, a cop. Oh, I'm a cop. Oh, no, I think he did say I'm a cop. It makes more sense than I'm a cop. <laughs> did he just say I'm a cop? Yeah. <laughs> it's like when I thought that... <laughs> yeah, you fucking idiot. He said I'm a cop. It's like when I thought at the end of Saving Private Ryan, <laughs> Tom, Tom Hanks' character says Ernest, as if he's telling him his real name or something. Uh, we switch to combat mode, he has to become a threat to the surrounding characters. Oh, dude, is this Geist mm. for GameCube? Mm. It literally is. Yeah, I'm watching it, so I'm watching it on the laptop. I'm sure it looks fine. What's it's like, it's just there's, you see this kind of like, it looks like you're looking through blinds when there's too much motion because, like, the way interlaced video looks. It's just weird. It's a weird, it's because, like, it looks super smooth here, and then on here it looks. So, just to talk about what I'm dealing with right now D is crouch. Uh, it's the arrow keys. Oh, no. <laughs> um, <clears throat> A does this. What does that do? I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. Oh, shit. Oh, it's strafing. Z and X are left and right. Your <laughs> <Your> <laughs> ringing. Press your objective button. Press your objective button. button. Default to F5. F5. <clears throat> you have come. If it's true, then my prayers have been answered. You are the one. You will set this planet free of its tyranny, and I will help you. I am in a dark place, but I can see through your eyes and the eyes of others. I will do my best to guide you by sharing what I know and what I steal from the minds of the weak. Mm -hmm. As a mortal, you must learn how to survive in the world. Become comfortable with your new surroundings. I will contact you soon and move you in the right direction. <laughs> you must trust me. The past has seen me at the pinnacle of this world's power, but I have been cast down and great evil has taken my place. Talk about uh, world building. Using your weapons, you can make some boxes explode. If you see a hand detonation switch, then characters can even use their hands. Man, this Sigs. game looks so good. <laughs> this cylinder For just how says boxes, Sigs. boxes and crates. Oh yeah, boxes and crates with this hand symbol can be detonated manually. Press your action button. This thing's overheating here. <laughs> Did this guy not see anything that just happened? Fucking is cool. He's got this box to weld. I gotta look up the controls, boys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, which option is selected? Okay. <laughs> fucking <laughs> This game is wonderful. Oh, <laughs> Alright. I already loved Tommy Tellerico, but the audio design in this so far is incredible. Ammo boxes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that shit. How do I pick it up? I can't pick it up. Jesus. You gotta fire some lasers and look up those controls. <clears throat> <laughs> so Welcome good. to the soundboard episode of the home button. <laughs> it's trance, you wouldn't get it. Yeah. What? Wait, hold on. Some of that weird computer music. Leave, zoom, free look, A or mouse two. Wait, can I? Joystick disabled. You could play <laughs> the, this with the It feels joystick. like the joystick is disabled. I think apparently. I did play this for a while with a joystick at home. I, d I don't think I can pick up that animal, so we're out of here. Can you fire the torch? Okay. Sniper mode. If you take out enemies without being noticed, you can use your sniper vision. You know, angels. The only cops. No, only cops have this ability okay. because I'm possessing a cop. Oh. Shooting someone in the head will kill him instantly. The pump gun has a short range. Give a freaking shit about a baby anyway. Has he already known about the baby? Oh. 
Admit your boy. <laughs> Sniper vision. Oh, crap! Uh oh. Everyone's attacking me. Oh no! Game over, dude. See ya. Woo! I'm a baby. Oh shit. Oh. You call yourself the Messiah? <laughs> Boys, that's not easy. Oh, oh I, I love that it, okay. It just puts us straight back to the main oh, menu. Oh, no. Well, I, there's probably no This sounds like the so. Steins Gate music. <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. What's the save button? <laughs> We're playing on Messiah now. Save button's probably escape and then... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Colombo has <laughs> gone mad. Yeah, we're going on the hardest difficulty. I feel like that on the easiest. Skip, 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 skip. Imagine thinking the sounds were good for moving in the menu. <laughs> That's what Matt said. Crash, 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 crash. What's for the south end media factor? <laughs> Y'all ready to watch this sequence again? The next level play. Sabukov. Sabukov. <laughs> I'm a cop. <laughs> Why would he say I'm a cop though? He's an angel. He doesn't know what cops are. Yeah, but he knows what sniper vision is. <laughs> uh, wait, can I open this door? Whoa. <laughs> no. <laughs> wait, there's stuff up there. Hold on a second. One more time. <laughs> Hold on a second, I will. <laughs> What? <laughs> Why is it really self-destruct? <laughs> oh, there's a gun. Oh. Pick you already weapon. carry a weapon. You can select swap with one lying on the ground. Pick yourself a weapon. Hop a cup. Hop a cup. Hop a cup. Wait, guys. Access <laughs> denied. Oh, you know, it's straightforward at least. Oh, I'm crying. I'm not gonna look at the objectives again. I guess I maybe I have to. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna keep flashing you. until I. <laughs> oh, my head! Uh, the final boss of this game is Satan, by the way. You wanna read all this out loud again? Oh, no, or? I don't. Uh, final boss fight in this game is very bad, also. There are some genuinely really cool moments in this game, and then the ending is just real bad. Ash, scratch, idle so, Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm surprised this game has idle animation. This game is incredibly ahead of its time. This is shiny entertainment, boys. Well, I mean, Sonic the Hedgehog had idle animation animations when the first Sonic the Hedgehog came out. Tapped his foot. Y'all ain't seen that. Sonic's got places to go. He doesn't stand still. He's gotta go fast. <laughs> God damn, it's so good. Aren't you already a cop? Can you go sniper mode? Or did you just not have a gun before? Uh, I didn't have a gun before. I had a torch. What is that? Uh, secondary weapon? Or... I don't know what... The re hey, the real messiah is going <laughs> to save us from these controls, huh? Wait. Oh, A is free look, apparently? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Zoom in was mouse wheel, but it, oh, you can use the mouse in addition to. Yeah, boys, we're gonna go mouse. Huh? I think the go mouse control keyboard. might be like replacing a joystick. <laughs> oh. oh, you're on the other side of that door. Wait, oh, watch this, ready? <laughs> Boom! I still remember the tricks. All right, we're in it. Nobody's the wiser. Wow. Why don't you let me help? Let me help I'm so while. happy okay. we don't have the chat up on the stream, Matt. We, that function's not working. What the hell is that? Why is it not in that navigation? Security. Fire content. Cool. Let's go. Control. Please initiate breaking sequence. Uh-oh. Control. Breaking sequence. Control. Oh, shit. Oh, so they shot the other scientist because they thought he fucked it up. Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, that's where he came from. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's the first guy to the mine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sterile. Sterilized! I don't think I can go that way. I am a scientist now, though. What can yeah. I do? Uh, the radiation. Oh, can you not? No, I think I need a special radiation suit. 
so I can I just wanted to hear it again. <laughs> I, love, I love the way that the font like casts <laughs> out. Yeah, it looks like it's weird light God, I forgot how much of this game I remember. It's very, very weird. Oh. Hop a cup. Hop a cup. Hop a I wish there was a cool access granted. Laser, laser deactivated for five seconds. Seems like it's been longer than five seconds. Unlocking gate. Oh, because you're in it. <laughs> What's going on on the screens, though? I'm pretty sure the animation for the door opening is just the... <laughs> oh, it's just people being set on fire. I think it's just the door image getting smaller. I don't know if we run into another one of those doors. But we'll keep an eye out for that. Thanks, Tommy. Freaking munchkin. What are you doing with that? Uh -oh. Oh. How do you shoot, Joey? <laughs> Call yourself the Messiah? Did you save? No. <laughs> 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 Can't even handle disciple mode. Are we sure disciple is the easiest mode? No idea. <laughs> Cause those difficulty settings don't really mean anything. They don't make any sense, no. Man, I don't know how many more times I wanna do this. <laughs> If I die again, I'm calling it. Okay. I gotta listen to Habakkuk a million times over. <laughs> what you are gonna listen to is the, fear, the original Fear Factory soundtrack. Yeah. Because you can download it from the DLG. What the hell was that? What was that? God. Habakkuk. 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 I love that something? these guys. You smell something? Blah! <laughs> 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 Welcome to our black box theater. We're gonna play out every single scene in this game. All right, I gotta get the guns. My speed run. <laughs> I feel like this is our version of uh, "Till Death Do Us Part," but we're just doing it over and over in the same day. Note to self: Scientists. What's the save button, Joey? Yes. <laughs> Oh my god. So, I do know that Joey opened that menu last <laughs> run and then just chose not to stay. <laughs> it's me, Joey. The dying noise is terrible, Matt, yes. Or brutal, as you said. How do you shoot forward? Uh, no idea. <laughs> I like that it tells you what to do, but it doesn't tell you, you how. You can use sniper vision. Just don't ask <laughs> how. Gives a freaking shit about a baby. You're not a scientist. Gives no, a no. freaking shit about a baby. Well, I'm not a. I'm not a scientist. You need to be a scientist. Yeah. Whoa. Can we just talk about this? Uh, the, the UI. In the I bottom? was literally about to say. <laughs> I, I immediately wanted to look for health when he fell and then decided I have no idea what actually indicates health. Is it the hundred? It's the hundred, is yeah. it the Which hundred? Is it, it's, the, it's the halo. Is it the temperature gauge? <laughs> What's your RPM you got going on right now? Give this dude some help. Okay, well, I see the hundred there, but what does the hundred in the middle of the circle represent? I honestly have no idea. Is it character health and baby health? No, because when I fell earlier, it, it reduced health to the halo again. I like this one. This game's got a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that, is that the jump force? Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's like the puffer uh, fish. 
All right, for real though. No. Look at how this door opens. Unlocking gate four. Holy cow. This one? It just shrinks the... <laughs> yeah, I think it does. All right, boys. We're gonna save. Cobb a cub. Are you gonna save scum? Mm. Wait, what? Stop opening. No, Dude. he's doing push-ups. Mm. Oh. Mm. It doesn't seem like you're supposed to get into mm. combat. Like, it seems like... There's a lot of grunts in this game, and they somehow managed not to record a single bully boy. I call it the Talarico method. Wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Guys, the Roblox oof is from this game. Ooh. The Roblox oof is from can this game. Can we pull up the video of that? Yeah, we can. <laughs> Let's just go online yeah. real quick. <laughs> hey, we're gonna we're just gonna step away for a second and listen to the Roblox oof. Let's uh let's t let's bring you guys down history lane. I don't think you're typing. Okay. I absolutely was. Huh. But you're typing there. Locks oof. How to forget. There's an end credits to the oh no to Messiah. There it is, everybody. That's the that's the game. That's the game. Keep going. That's Messiah. <laughs> so you, you got you got We gotta reach that point in this game. That's the very I'm gonna say you got another after you fight Satan. Game. You've got at least well, another well, 15 well, minutes in this game. We've only been playing this game for 23 minutes. It feels like forever. <laughs> Where are we supposed to go? We've oh. been everywhere available so, to us. Oh, this way. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Was that them spawning? <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Oh man, that was All right. interesting. Yeah, that's where I came from. Yeah. Try going through. No. We just saved. I did bring it, I was, we were talking about wanting to do like a weird game today on top of just a normal game. I, I, I originally thought of just playing Monster Hunter World Iceborne, but I'm so much happier that this is what we're playing right now. It's just... Break it. I haven't seen you shoot a gun straight yet. <laughs> They get mad when the you take only a gun. Thing you Become can the push-up is... cop. The only thing you can do is pick up this gun. But how does that help us? Oh, oh no! no. Oh. Can you just get into somebody? I have to go to their back. Yeah, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Okay, okay, let's try and make sense of this UI while we're doing this. <laughs> I don't get it. The numbers are just changing rapidly, and I don't know what they represent. How do you shoot this? How do I live? What the <laughs> fuck was that? <laughs> you just, just you killed everyone in this room by just jumping into everybody and having them kill them. All right, I did it, boys. Is the scientist dead? Is there something special about this gun? Let's get a new gun. Nope. Oh, it's the flamethrower. Right. The one, the one that you can only shoot like this before. <laughs> <laughs> so only the scientist makes a fucked up noise when he jumps. How do I just drop a gun? <laughs> this is whack. God, Zoom the in. fucking menu. <laughs> I don't know how to drop a gun, boys. D? No. Uh, crouch. That's crouch. Uh, control? That's jump. Yep. <laughs> Controls jump. Bolt? Oh my god. Oh, wait. Oh! Okay, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it at all. 
I did drop it though somehow, and now I have the flamethrower. So. All right. And that solves nothing. Nothing. It solves everything. I have nine health. Now what though? What do you need the flamethrower to do? I think we need a radio. Whoa. <laughs> Radiation scientist, but we don't have any of those. Save. <laughs> I don't I can't even what, fall. What are we missing? What did oh. what did nine-year-old Joey know that we don't know? Yeah, I finished this game. <laughs> oh man. You call yourself the Messiah? I'm gonna go back to before I got into push-up cop. Really? Should I go to the flamethrower? I mean push up yeah, cop. Everybody just killed me when I had the flamethrower. Yeah. No, everyone here's chill with you. That last guy can get you there. Oh, you can go. Why did that guy attack you? Whoa. You're so dead. The health gauge looks like a timer. <laughs> when you are We're going back to push up cop. When you aren't at full, it just looks like That other side somehow also a Go door. somewhere else. Go somewhere else. Am I like missing stuff up? No. I'm pretty oh. sure I also got stuck here like as a kid. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. I'm gonna go into sterilize. Begin in a cop, run, run up, up the ramp and place your hand on the box. Blowing it up. Go through. No, don't read the don't read the walkthrough. I figured it out. Oh, what'd you do? We have to sterilize. wait until the sequence is over. Oh, we sterilize. Is there no animation? Just sound effects. Uh -oh. Can you close the other? Wait. Uh -oh. <laughs> This one's a freaking baby. Are those things on the side interactable? Oh. Oh. I went into combat mode on <laughs> Okay. We made it. Oh. Feels very adventure gamey. Uh, how do I put my gun away though? It's not here, Joey. We don't know. Oh, there is a cool voiceover for Axis Grand. <laughs> I got my wish. Let me look at the objective. A mad, inhuman dictator known as Father Prime is at the nucleus of the great shadow that hangs over us. Do whatever it takes to get to him. He controls the people from his technology center near the entrance to the main city. You can access the center from the laboratory that feeds it. I can lead you there, Bob, but you must stay hidden. Use the... Yeah, well, I get it. Let's go. Look at these set pieces, though. Pretty nice. I saw a walkthrough for this game from 1995. That can't be right. No, this game came out in 2000. Railgun? Some sort? The walkthrough I'm on gun. right now uh, is from April 2nd to that. I'm fine. I think you need to become baby. 
You must be fun, baby. Can you fly? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. We got to the clambering section. <laughs> Why don't you just keep flying? Because you're not your wings aren't that strong. You're a baby. Yeah, but babies have baby wings, dude. Have you seen a bird? I haven't. Oh! Oh, he doesn't like that, that's for sure. What do I do? What happened to the dude that was standing there? Oh, he's on a different section. I remember this section. Yeah, you have to jump over these fans. Man, this is so early 2000s game design. Oh, you have to raise the fans. Fan, reposition. I feel like this section is in every action yeah, game of this decade. Of, of 2000 to 2010? Yeah. Okay. Don't worry guys, I figured it out. Did you figure out how to put away your guns yet? Yes, I did actually. It's a good thing this is nice and quick though to put you back to the attempts. Y'all see that though? No. <laughs> Okay, no, you're it. never going to be able to recreate that. God. Why does this game have the most robust animations for a 2000s game? Robust. It's got quite an animation set. It's pretty, I'm genuinely surprised. Oh, oh. Along with the ability to operate specialized machinery, his containment suit will also protect him from high levels of radiation. Is there a unit that's just like the best one? No. I mean, you know what this yes. game reminds me of? Chip's Challenge. Did you ever play Chip's Challenge? No. no. Uh, it was a game where you had to like, it was a, it was a Windows 95, 95 or 98 game that I used to play. <laughs> No, Joey. Well, everybody, that's the home button this week. <laughs> you uh, think you're the messiah? Thanks for watching, as always. We're gonna we're gonna close this one out. <laughs> to the to the soft and sweet music of Messiah. Um, yeah, nine-year-old Joey played this game and completed it. I don't remember the, uh, why I had it. I don't remember how I got it. I've never heard of it until today. Oh, man. <laughs> Told you, it's very good. Once you get the nuance, once you get the it's nuance, something. folks, it's good. It's special. It's good. Let's, uh, can we cut the music from coming into this room? Because it's stressing me out. <laughs> I love Thank it. You. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, are there a lot of games coming out or no games coming out soon? There's no games coming out until March 20th. So until and then, then. until And then like the rest of the year is just game after game. Yeah, so until then, we're going to be playing more games like Messiah. If you have any God recommendations, us. tweet us. Otherwise, <laughs> thanks for watching as always. If you're watching us on channel 15 or 215 in Burlington, think about the fact that you could be watching us live at mixer.com slash home button tv thanks for watching catch us next time hobacob